and welcome to the YMM Method 25-Minute Indoor Walking Exercise Video. Now, before we get started, I want to give you three key tips to help you get the best out of this workout. Number one, always keep those arms moving throughout the entire workout. Doing this will help keep your heart rate up and allow you to get a great cardio workout. Number two, focus on holding those abs in the entire time. If you do that, you'll definitely get a great abdominal workout. And number three, go at your own pace. And if any time the moves seem too fast for you, slow it down, go at your own pace, and take breaks as needed. Now let's get started. Now, to start this workout, we're gonna start with a brief warm-up where I'll demonstrate all of the moves in this video, and then I will let you join me after I count you in. So, the first move we're gonna start with is the walk in place. It's a simple move. We're just gonna swing those arms, hold those abs in, and we'll go at a reasonable warm up pace here. Now this is move number one, a simple walk in place. Now move number two, I'll demonstrate shortly. It's called a sidestep. I'll show you the move and you'll stay here with the walk in place. Then I'll count you in to join me. Now this is a sidestep. Simple out together, out together, out together, out together. Now I'll count you in, in four, three, two, one. Join me, sidestep. Now in four, we'll go back to the walk in place. In four, three, two, one, walk in place. Now on to move number three, which is a front kick. I'll demonstrate the move and you join me after I count you in. So this is the front kick. It's a simple kick in the front and an arm extension out in front of you. Now, if you find that this kick is too high or the arm extension is too far, you can simply make it much lower. You can modify the move, make the kick lower and the arm extension a little lower. So I'll count you in, in four, three, two, one, front kick. Now I'll count you down. We'll go back to the simple walk in place. In four, three, two, one, walk in place. Now the next move is a simple knee lift. Again, I'll demonstrate the move, count you in and you'll join me. This is a knee lift. Now only extend your arms as high as you can go and lift those knees as high as you comfortably can. So I'll count you in in four, three, two, one knee lift. Now in four, we'll go back to walking in place. In four, three, two, one walk in place. Now there's one more move that we need to cover. It's a side lunge. I'll demonstrate, count you in and you'll join me. This is a side lunge. In four, three, two, one, you join me. Side lunge. In four, three, two, one, we'll walk in place. Again, remember, move those arms. Pull those abs in, go at a comfortable pace. Now, you'll notice the beat has picked up a little bit. 
This is where we get into a really good cardio and fat burning mode. We're gonna pick this walking in place move up quicker. It's gonna go a little faster. Swing those arms faster. Now, again, if this pace is too fast for you, you can simply go a little slower. Or you can stay here. Now, you ready for some side steps? I'll count you in, let's go. Four, three, two, one, side step. This move is working the arms, the abs, and the lower body. And the pace and the beat is really helping to get that heart rate up and give you a great cardio workout. So I'll count you down and we'll go back to a walk in place. In four, three, two, one, walk in place. Now, our next move is gonna be a front kick. I'll start, then I'll count you in to join me. This is a front kick again. In four, three, two, one, join me. This is a great move to work out any frustrations you may be dealing with right now. Just feel like you're punching it out, kicking it out, getting a good workout. Now we're going to go count down to our walk in place. In four, three, two, one. Walk in place. Now one thing about this walk in place move is if the pace is too slow for you, you can always take it to a little jog. But if you're new to walking and a beginner with indoor walking, just stay here at a normal walking pace. Next up is our knee lift. I'll start count you in and we'll do them together. This is the knee lift. Remember you can modify it by lowering your knee and lowering your arm reach. In four, three, two, one, join me. Knee lift. Up, up, Now this is where you can really feel that ab work coming in. It's almost like a standing ab crunch as you lift that knee and bring those arms down. And going back to walking in place in four, three, two, one, walk in place. Our last move is the side lunge. Once again, I'll get started, count you in, and you join me. Side lunge. Missed the beat there for a minute. That's okay, we're side lunging. Four, three, two, one, join me. Back to walking in place in four, three, two, one. Now, there's been a slight change in the tempo as we're taking it back down a little bit after that fast paced walking segment. You'll notice the beat change up just a little bit 
to allow us to modify the moves to a slightly lower pace. Now, this time we're gonna try something different with some of the moves. We'll start first with the side step and we'll try to do something a little bit different with the arms since we're going at a slightly lower pace. I'll demonstrate, count you in, and you join me. So side step. See the arm movement? This is giving you a little bit more of an ab workout and an upper body workout. We're extending the arms higher over the head. Feel as though you're pulling the air down with you as you sidestep. In four, three, two, one, you join me. Now again, only reach as high as you comfortably can. If this gets too much, you just go back to the regular move. Hands at chest level. But again, this is a great move to work that upper body, get a little bit more ab work, and still keep that heart rate up. In four, we'll be going back to our walk in place. In four, three, two, one, walk. Now, the next move is the kick, the front kick. We're going to change up the arm moves on that move as well to give us a little bit more ab and upper body work. I'll demonstrate, count you in, and we'll do it together. So this is the front kick, arms overhead. In four, three, two, one. Join me, front kick. Now you'll use these arm motions to really raise that heart rate. Tone those arms and abs. In four, three, two, one. Walk in place. Now, we're back to a faster pace for this segment. Gonna put a little bit more power in this walk. This is definitely a way to burn more calories, get in that fat burning mode, swing those arms a little bit more, pick those feet up. Now in the last segment, we missed a move, the side lunge. So now we're gonna pick that move up in this segment. Okay, I'll demonstrate you in and you join me. Side lunge. In four, three, two, one. You join me. Extending those arms, sculpting long, lean muscles in the lower body and the upper body. Now we're going to go back to walking in four, three, two, one. Let's walk. Again, you can kind of 
boost this walk a little bit more by swinging the arms a little more, and picking your feet up a little higher, and kind of going to the beat. The beat sort of sets the pace and tone for your workout. And it makes sure that your heart rate stays in that calorie and fat burning mode. Now, next move, we're going back to side steps. We're gonna go with the arms overhead again this time. I'll start, count you in, and we'll side step together. In four, three, two, one. Let's go, side step. Pull those abs in. As you bring those arms down, feel as though you're making sort of an ab crunch. Work those abs. Work those arms. In four, three, two, one. Let's walk. Next move is the front kick with the arms going overhead again. Now, as always, you can modify the move. You can keep the legs lower on the front kick and the arms at chest level. So, Pace changing and beat changing a little bit more here. Let's pick the beat first. You gotta pick up the beat. Okay, I'll start with the front kicks. I'll count you in and you join me. Front kick arm overhead or keep it right here whatever feels most comfortable to you in four three two one front kick now this is another one you can boost the larger you make the moves the more boosted movement boost the calorie burn and fat burn you get. But definitely, as I said in the intro, keep it at a pace that's comfortable for you. Take breaks as needed. As long as you're working out, at some point during this 25 minutes, you're headed in the right direction. In four, three, two, one, walk. those arms. Pull those abs in. This is a great beat to get that heart rate going. Get the blood flow going. Now, our next move is going to be the knee lift. already know the drill. I'll demonstrate again. Count you in and we'll do it together. Knee lift. In four, three, two, one. Knee lift. Join me. Again, the modified move. Just right in front of you. It at chest level. Make the lead knee as low as you need to to keep moving. If you want to pump it up, get those arms up and knees up. In four, three, two, one, we walk. Now, 
we're going into another beat change here. So we're just gonna, going to kind of ease into the next segment with a walk in place to catch the beat. Now this is one of those slow moves where you can start to just take it a little slower. Once again, we left off on that side lunge. So we're going to finish it here on this beat. I'll demonstrate and count you in. Side lunge. Now this lower pace is really good for toning. We're really not having to do a whole lot to keep up with the beat here. So it's a great time to kind of extend that leg and arm as long as you comfortably can. This helps you sculpt long, lean muscles, which is so important as we age to sculpt and tone the body without doing a lot of moves that could be harmful. walking in four, three, two, one. Now, if you notice throughout this workout, we've been doing sort of a high, low, high, low. We've had the beat up high. We've taken you down low. We pump it back up a little bit. That's really a form of interval training. This is really not uh, an interval walking workout, but it's a workout that can be modified to be interval working. An interval workout can definitely help you burn more calories and fat because you're taking that heart rate up high and then down low and then back up again. Now here we're gonna just start slowing it down into what we call our cool down. Now just march with the beat, we'll walk in place. Make sure you're always swinging those arms. Now let's see if we can fit a few side steps in here. Again, I'll start, count you in, hopefully, <laughs> and you'll join me. This is a simple side step in four, Three, two, one, join me. It's a simple out together, out together, out together, out together. Now, as 
since we're starting to wind down towards the end of this workout, there's no need to do the higher arm movements. This is where we want to start taking the heart rate down just a bit so that we can get into an effective cool down. It doesn't feel like 25 minutes went by that fast, does it? It's really, goes by fast when you're having fun. <laughs> okay, in four, we'll walk in place. In four, three, two, one. Walk in place. Move those arms. Not a ton, but just enough to kind of keep up with the beat. Now we'll try just a front kick to sort of wind down this workout. Let's go. I'll demonstrate and then I'll count you in. In four, three, two, one. Front kick. I know you can feel that heart rate coming down. But believe it or not, that metabolism is still churning and burning, even at this pace. We've revved it up some. Now we're just taking the heart rate down, but you'll get a nice afterburn from this workout. Now, also with all of my workouts, if the time limit is too short for you, simply repeat the full video. We'll start walking again in four, three, two, one. Let's walk. Now make sure after you finish this workout, if you didn't take a water break during the workout, make sure you hydrate as much as possible once you're done. Do some stretching and uh, Stay tuned for more videos. We're just walking and swinging those arms. Now, we want to start to take some deep breaths while we're walking. Thank you all for joining me. I look forward to working out with you again soon.